Hey there, if you don't already know me, I'm Kirsten, but if you wanna be BFFs, you can call me Kay. And I make tons of videos on digital planning, iPad creativity, and down to earth, very human reviews and videos on the iPad and other Apple tech. What goes into a lot of that is how I use my iPad or how I use my computer or my phone and what apps or programs I use to make the whole wheel turn. I've done quite a few videos on Notion. I even have a hub where you can download free templates and get started with Notion really quickly. It's pretty clear that I really love using Notion and value it as an app or a program in my workflow. Today though, we are chatting about how I use Notion in conjunction with my digital planner. At some point, things might seem like they would get redundant since I am writing tasks in my digital planner and I can also do that in Notion. So we're covering that relationship today. Notion isn't sponsoring this video, but I have gotten this question quite a bit, so I wanted to cover it today. Now, if you're not familiar with Notion, Notion is basically whatever you make of it. It's an all-in-one system for journaling, planning, writing out your task, finances. Like it's literally whatever you want it to be. You make it super complex or very simple. There are different plugins and now APIs which allow you to feed in information or export out that information and it's very customizable and intuitive. You can find my past videos on my Notion setup if you're interested, but today we're focusing on how I use it in conjunction with other tools like my digital PDF planner. So Notion is my second brain. It essentially serves as my long-term database of my projects, my content ideas, my goals, and things that are either extremely complex or long-term. And my digital planner that I use on my iPad is more of my ideation tool. It's where I journal, get creative, and get messy. Anything I need for the long-term or is getting too complex for my digital planner gets moved and categorized in my Notion. So for example, let's say I have a new product idea for K Digital Studio. 99% of my ideas start with a vision of how it might look. Now, of course, this always changes later, but I have a rough idea of how a product will look when I first get the idea in my digital planner or a digital notebook. Sometimes I'll even go as far as creating some kind of prototype of the product and then bring that into my planner to sketch and draw all over to get my thoughts out. You can't really do this in Notion, as in I can't take my Apple Pencil and just start drawing out my ideas in Notion. I have to type, and as someone who really benefits from the process of writing and drawing out my ideas, this is where my digital planner comes in. Once I have a firm grasp of the idea or how I'm going to pursue it, I tidy it up and bring this into Notion. So in Notion, it looks like a huge table. I write out the process and words, assign it a status or a category, so like in progress, and what the product category is. What's great about Notion is the ability to create and use templates. So each product idea, depending on the category, has a different template, and each template has a different workflow. I've developed workflows for each of my products and turned them into a checklist. So if I create a sticker pack, I have a step-by-step -step checklist for that in Notion. So digital planner equals ideation and sketches, Notion equals the actual management of that creation process. That's just one example of that dynamic between Notion and my digital planner. Now, there are definitely things that I do in my digital planner that I can also do in Notion, things like journaling, to-do lists, calendars, but I benefit more from having those in my digital planner due to the writing and analog feeling of it. Journaling just feels better by hand versus using my keyboard with Notion. Writing out my to-do list in my digital planner feels nicer and I'm more likely to remember it for later. And lastly, the normal month to month or day to day planning experience occurs in my digital planner and it's just a lot better than having that in my Notion because I can customize and personalize it more with things like digital stickers, my own highlighter colors, and so on. There's just more colors, different fonts that I can use in my digital planner. And I'm not a huge fan of the calendar system in Notion. I just like how my deadlines look a lot more in my digital planner. Notion is basically my database and my archive to run my personal and work life in background. It's my secondary tool for writing scripts keeping track of when I last changed the oil in my car, or to write out really complex workflows that wouldn't make sense to have in my digital planner. I also have my financial reviews in there and my long, long-term goals. 
My digital planner is where I journal, write out my tasks, personalize my calendar, and get the experience of writing. I know a ton of people use their digital planners on the iPad for more than just planning. They use it for their wish lists, subscriptions, goals, their health, and so much more. But for me, my digital planner is essentially anything I prefer doing by hand, which is journaling, to-do list, and monthly and weekly planning. And the rest typically lives in Notion. I will often use Notion, however, to write out some of my tasks from day to day, and this is where a bit of that redundancy comes in because I will often have the same tasks written out in my digital planner. So there is this statistic that businesses use all the time or reference all the time that basically comes down to someone needing to see something seven times before taking action. Telling your customer about this really awesome thing that you made or that you're advertising and on average after the seventh time, they'll finally look at it, buy it, do whatever the call to action is. And my mind definitely works like that as well. I really benefit from having redundancy in my to-do list especially. And now that I'm older and a college grad, I really do have to write things down like fold laundry a million times before it actually gets done. Fold laundry written out on my digital planner, typed out my notion so it's in my face, whether I'm on my iPad, my phone, my computer. And then the next day, after I've seen fold laundry for the millionth time, I know that I need to do that. Having specific purposes for Notion and specific purposes for my digital planner and then some overlap has worked super well for me and my workflow. And I know if I need to retrieve something, an idea, a sketch, a deadline, whatever, I know which tool to turn to. My advice for you is to experiment with different setups. When I first got started with digital planning, I tried to do absolutely everything in my planner by hand and it didn't work for me. I also tried to do absolutely everything in Notion and that wasn't working for me. I missed the analog and personalization of my digital planner. Eventually, I found a good balance between the two and it really came down to experimentation and time. And that's how I use my digital planner with Notion. This was an extremely popular question that I got with the introduction of Notion here on KDigital Studio. And hopefully I gave you a good perspective on how I use both to create really rad stuff around here and to manage my life. If you have any questions though, drop them down in the comments. I try to answer as many of your comments as I can. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon if you never wanna miss an upload from me. But until then, I will see you next week with another video. Bye.